What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to go from this to this. Now I just want to say thank you guys so much for getting me to 100 subs. It means a lot to me and I really appreciate it and I feel like this will help me you know, gain the motivation to post for you guys so I can get you guys more tweaks out. Um, I know you guys have been enjoying my videos as my recent videos have been getting a lot of views so there is going to be more videos moving forward but um yeah without further ado let's go straight into the video okay so guys for this first week what you guys want to do is go to your search bar and search up nvidia control panel once it is open what you guys want to do is go to manage 3d settings right here as i'm already here you want to make sure when you go over here high performance nvidia processor is enabled nothing else then you want to go to program settings and then you want to go to add and find fortnite here see i've already done it so i don't need to but that's what you want to do and then see right when you find it you want to click high pro uh, processor nvidia pro uh, performance nvidia processor uh, once you are here you want to copy my settings basically have all these settings off i'll, I'll scroll down for you guys Once you have that, you want to make sure you click apply on the bottom, the bottom right. It should say apply when you finish. And that's pretty much for this tweak. I mean, I showed the other ones in my other videos, but you know, just make sure this is on your GPU. And then if you go here, you click this, put it on performance, and then click this back and then make sure you press apply. And that's pretty much it. On to the next tweak. Okay guys, so for the next week, what you guys want to do is go to your search bar and type in defragment. And this should pop up right here. You want to click on it. And whatever your game runs on or whatever you have your games on, or let's say you have two and you run games on both, you want to click optimize right here. And basically what this will do is it would optimize your drive that you have your games on to run at full performance basically like if there's you know if you just turn on your computer i think it's a good idea to optimize it from time to time because it will make your drive faster which can improve the load time in your games and stuff like that but anyways yeah what you guys want to do for this next week is open up discord go to your settings then scroll down all the way to see advance and then where hardware acceleration right here you want to turn that off make sure that's off because that will interfere with your games uh performance especially um if you have a bad gpu uh or like you know an old gpu and you already run low frames this could be one of the reasons why it would like run really really bad so turning this off will significantly improve your fps but um also what you guys want to do is also go to your browser and then go to settings you see how i'm using opera gx with any browser you could just search up right here hardware acceleration and it's right here you want to turn that off too on the browser so basically discord and browser you don't want to have harder acceleration when available because that will you know imp it would decrease your fps by a lot because if you're using the browser or discord i mean it's taking performance off of your game and it's putting it onto those programs instead so that's mainly why you want to have it off but um yeah off to the next week okay guys so if you guys go to my description you will guys you will see these copy and paste links for registry um these tweaks will help and i'm going to show you guys how to set them up right now so the first thing you guys want to do is you want to copy the first link which will be this you want to go to your search bar type in registry now once you have open registry you want to paste what you have copied from my description then you want to go to where it says feature settings right here make sure that is at one make sure feature settings override is at three and make sure feature settings override mask is at also at three now if you guys don't have any of these you can easily just press new 
dword 32 bit and just literally type in the exact thing you see on my screen i will put it you know i will type it out for you guys and put it in the video so you guys can see it but um basically you just want to press new d word uh 32 bit and just you know paste that in there just make it yourself and then put the numbers and it will work still if you guys don't have it but in my case i already have it so i have already done it now for the next registry tweak you want to copy the second one paste it on here and basically what you want to do is you want to go to where it says hibernate enabled put that on zero and then hibernate enable default put that at zero i have both of these at zero and this means that your cp won't hibernate at all and it will just be at full performance at all times basically for the next tweak you guys want to copy the third link that i'm gonna have you want to paste it like usual and where it says search order config you want to double click that put it at zero press okay make sure you're pressing okay after you put these numbers by the way guys i already done it so i'm not gonna do anything but you guys should already know that now for the next one i'm gonna copy the next one again the fourth one paste it and then you want to see you want to go to where it says value on the bottom and just put zero now mine is gonna look different from yours guys but all you got to do is just you know take away the number that's there and just put zero literally it's probably gonna say one or whatever just put zero but you know mine looks different don't worry about it if yours looks different it's normal mine just looks different for whatever reason but you go you guys don't have to worry about it just put it at zero all right and for the last one you guys want to copy paste now for this one you want to go to where this will probably say medium or whatever for you guys you want to go over here and make sure you type in high just like how it's typed here make sure there's the first letter is cap make sure it's on uh make sure the h is capital and stuff and then press okay you also want to do it for this make sure this is capital h and make sure it says hi press okay and then make sure where you go to priority right here make sure that's on six and then press okay make sure gpu priorities at eight and press okay now this will base this basically means that your gpu will be running on high performance which is what you want especially for fortnite because this will make your gpu run at full performance which will boost your fps because if your gpu is not at full performance i mean your fps won't be that good either because i mean your gpu can handle more but it's not using you know all of what it could do it's not using its full power which in turn gives you bad fps so yeah but off to the next tweak all right guys so for the next week what you guys want to do is go to the description where i am going to be posting a link if it's not in the description it will be in my comment uh basically it's gonna it should take you to this website and basically what you guys want to do is press code right here and press download zip now it should bring you this right you want to if you have winrar you should have it but if you don't i will put this in the comment or description for you guys to download but basically once you have a download just press extract to press ok open up your file explorer then you want to go down to where it says you know h hid usb f whatever then you also want to extract it again right here once you have done that you want to click driver you want to click on a folder click driver you want to click setup press yes and then basically what you want to do is press all now what you guys want to do is go to where it says HID keyboard device or whatever it says compliant mouse like how mine's does. And basically what you guys want to do, right, is you want to see I already done it. But what you guys want to do is you want to press a thousand. It'll be on default. But what you guys want to do is basically put a thousand. Then you want to press install service. Now what this is going to do, it's going to put the polling rate to a thousand. That's what you guys want. Basically, you're overclocking your mouse and keyboard to give you less delay in Fortnite. Also, what you guys want to do is put it on your mouse too. Now, not just your keyboard, but your mouse too. Now, this would definitely significantly improve your delay and make it decreasingly like less. It would make it significantly less. And the reason why is because when your pulling rate is at a thousand, your delay is better. It's way less and you have better response time but anyways off to the next tweak okay guys so for this next tweak what you guys want to do is you want to open up your file explorer 
you want to click on your drive for your computer you want to click users whatever your name is app data local then you want to head down to fortnite game saved config windows client and basically there will be a file right here that's gonna have your fortnite it's gonna say game settings configuration or whatever you want to just like left click it and delete it basically and then you want to open up epic games and just basically load fortnite and i will be back when my fortnite is opened all right guys so once you guys open up fortnite back you will be greeted with this message what you guys want to do is basically press decline and then it might show you the battle pass intro again or the intro for the next season like this right here you basically just want to skip it's normal don't worry your data is not gone or anything just press back and then you guys just want to go to your settings and basically make sure it's on full screen and on the highest resolution as mine is 1920 by 1080 but you don't want to put it above that you would just want to keep it on 1920 by 1080 and then after you've done that, you basically want to put your FPS. I would say put it at your refresh rate, but I mean, I recommend putting it at a, a, a FPS that you can actually hit in game and creative both. Uh, I can hit 180 and then my settings is just brightness up. I don't have any colorblind mode basically. Um, I just put this on low, basically quality preset, you wanna have that on low. Turn, that, turn this all the way off put this at a hundred make sure all of this is off I recommend putting a view distance on medium uh, I put my textures on epic because it actually boosts my FPS and then I usually show my FPS but that's optional but I do recommend it because if you guys want to see how much your FPS actually boost then I recommend that then since i'm on nvidia i can put it on low latency on boost that's what you want to have it on latency markers i have this to see how much delay i have by milliseconds basically then i press apply and you might be greeted with a black screen like i have been just want to press yes it's going to say do you want to keep just press yes for that and then you want to go back up and where it says directx 11 you want to switch to performance mode basically and basically restart now is what you want to press also guys you do not want to restart the game where it says restart now you want to press decline on that but what you guys want to do instead is manually close it then you want to open your file explorer like usual go to your drive like we did earlier click users scythe well for me it's scythe not for you guys it's the name of your computer press app data local just go down to fortnite game saved configuration windows client Game user settings should be right here. You want to click that, maximize it real quick. What you guys want to do is where it says show grass, put it on false. Make sure show FPS is on true. I mean, it should be if you guys enabled it, but if you didn't, it's not going to say that. But then you want to come down to here where it says global illumination and all that. Make sure all of these numbers are at zero, basically, because it's just going to ruin performance if it isn't. You want to scroll all the way down. And these resolutions right here, the resolutions right here, I will be putting up stretch resolutions you guys can use for uh, FPS boost. But um, for this video, I'm not going to use any stretch at all. I'm just going to keep it on normal. And uh, basically, when I go down here, make sure foliage is on zero. Make sure all of this is at zero. I mean, if you have textures up like me, it's going to be on three. This should be at one. But other than that, all the rest of them should be at zero. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there is, uh, there is, you see right here, disable mouse acceleration. I usually like to put this on true, but that's optional. If you guys want to have that, I mean, I feel like it does something, but it probably doesn't to be honest with you, but I do it in case because why not? And also you want to go to where it says energy saving enabled. Just put that on false. I usually don't have it on because I feel like it ruins performance, but I mean, I could be wrong about that too, but just do it uh, in case. I mean, it doesn't really do anything bad to your computer. So, I mean, I just do it in case it ruins performance, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. You also want to click file and save so it saves it. And one last thing, you want to right click and press properties and make sure it's not on read only so it doesn't you know stuck it's not stuck on the old settings but other than that that's pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you hit the subscribe button 
make sure you hit the notification bell for more videos to get notified whenever i post a tweaking video for you guys but um yeah that's pretty much it peace out yo